And just to make sure that we understand how to calculate the packing and the density of atoms in a cubic format, let's find the density of zinc. And so again, just like many other atoms that uh, of similar nature, zinc is packed what we call face-centered cubic, which means that we have atoms at each of the cubes of a unit cell, and then we have one atom in, in the middle of the face of each of the six sides of the cube. So because of that, we need to first figure out how many atoms are contained within a unit cell in a structure like that. And so for the corners, uh, we know that one eighth of each atom is associated with the cube. The other seven eighths is associated with the other seven cubes that would be centered around that corner of that cube. So we have for the number of atoms, that is eight times, because there's eight corners, times one eighth of an atom at each of the corner, plus there's six sides, so therefore we multiply six times the portion of each atom that is inside the cube versus outside the cube. And for the, for the uh, what we call the face center cubic, the, the atoms that are at the center of each side, half of that atom is inside the cube and half of the atom is outside the cube, would be of course in the cube next to it. So it would be six times one half of an atom. And so in total, there's three here and one there, so that's a total of four atoms would be contained within the cube. So, since density can be defined as mass divided by volume, this would then be equal to four times, because there's four atoms, times the mass of each atom, which is 65.39 AMU. So it would be four times 65.39 AMUs. And that would be the mass contained within one unit cell uh, due to the four atoms being contained within it in that particular packing. Now we have divided by the volume. The volume, of course, is going to be this side cube, A cubed. The question here is, how big is A? Notice that it's not going to simply be the diameter of a uh, atom because there's a space in between. The best way to think about it is to go diagonal across one of the sides because there we have one atom at the corner, one atom at the corner, and one smack in the middle so that they all make contact along the diagonal of one of the faces. The diagonal is equal to the square root of 2 times A, and that will then be equal to 4 times the radius, 1, 2, 3, 4 times the radius of the atom, so that the A, the side, is equal to 4 divided by the square root of 2 times the radius of an atom. And that needs to go in there. So this is equal to 4 times 65.39 AMU divided by 4 divided by the square root of 2 times the radius and that of course the whole thing would have to be cubed because that's the side cubed. Alright, I think we're ready now to plug in the radius which is known to be 139 picometers for, for a, a zinc. So it's equal to 4 times 65.39 AMU divided by 4, divided by the square root of 2, that would be cubed, multiply times the radius cubed, and the radius is 139 times 10 to the minus 12, uh, that would be meters, and that would be cubed. Okay, we want one more thing to do. Notice in the numerator we have AMUs, in the denominator we have meters, so they're not standard units. Uh, meters is, but AMUs is not. We have to convert that to kilograms, so first of all we can convert to grams by using Avogadro's number. So we can say that uh, 1 gram is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23 AMUs. And then converting grams to kilograms, with 1 kilogram in the numerator is equal to 1,000 grams. So here we have the conversion from AMUs to kilograms. We have meters in the denominator. We're now ready to go ahead and find the density of zinc. So we have 4 times 65.39 divided by 6.02e to the 23rd, divided by 1,000 equals, divide by 64 times 2 times the square root of 2, and divide by 139e to the 12 minus, and then we cube that equals, and there we go, much better, 7.15, or 7,150 kilograms per cubic meter. And that would then be equal to 7.15 grams per cubic centimeter. So there you go. There's the density of zinc. And again, we are able to calculate that simply by understanding the packing density, how it's packed. It's packed in what we call face center cubic. 
by knowing the mass per atom, by being able to calculate the volume of the unit cell that contains then four equivalent atoms of zinc, and the density is therefore mass divided by volume. And that's how we do that.